So today we have this We have this Kia because I'm complaining that the vehicle will not start Let me take the picture of the vent Let me get the wire diagram to see how the uh, The vehicle set up uh, And we have to connect to our Wi-Fi, which we do. Okay. We're waiting there for this to load. So, car's running, the, the camera shut off. This really, this fuse is different because it was uh, blowing. I already blew one. It had a 25 amp. Replace that. Uh, car is running. Uh, that goes to the oxygen sensor on bank one and, well, bank one, sensor one, bank two, sensor one. So, got that replaced. And now the vehicle is running. It does have the original pump, as you can see. It does have the original pump, so I'm going to let the customer know, have them put everything back together, connect the sensor, and I remove that connector because it looks like somebody removed the catalyst converter, so that needs to be fixed. But that's a Diag, that was a quick one, as you can see. Hopefully, I can show you guys. And then those are the cables that are on the ground. So, there you go. That's the diag, that's the fix. Thank you guys for watching. So, right now we have the wire diagram that we need for this vehicle. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, Cause my complaint is that they are not getting any ground to that circuit. So what we're going to do is pull out our test light, we're going to get a pierce probe, and we're going to get a sugar lighter adapter if I have it here, which is this one right here, maybe just maybe a extension, so like that we have enough space. As you can see right here, our red will be a positive that come from this relay and our uh, ground is this black. So what we're going to do is first we have to confirm whether we have an issue with what they are stating or not. So let's connect that. We have a good power source. Right. And then what we're going to do is run this power wire all the way to the back yeah. we should have if I'm correct if I'm on power I should have ground the whole time no matter what so what we're going to do is come over here and then let's see how they have this set up this should be my connector and it should be the black wire right here so what we're going to do is connect this here so that nice and tight we connect this and we don't have a ground but let's go ahead and start seeing if we have the power that uh, they say that it, it does have but we don't have the uh, the uh, what's it called it does have the power, but not the ground. We have to verify and make sure. We can take another individual uh, test for that. So as you can see, there it is. As you can see, I still don't have light there. So, let me double check here because somehow this moved. Let me make sure I have a good reading. I always uh, check your 
connection because you could get bit by this unfortunately always seal up your leads as you can see a minute ago I had no uh, no ground and I do have a ground I had a back connection over there now what we have to do is find out find out uh, found out why we don't have a power feed here so what we're going to do is we're going to get alligator clip and we're going to get that wire diagram and we're going to start testing our relay so we do have a good ground we just don't have good power is it because a relay shot or is it wiring issue what's going on okay cool let's go ahead and get a a back probe We're gonna get a back probe, which is one of these, and we're gonna get one of these, and we're gonna get one of these pins, just so like that we could write down our feeds. So they want hot out, hot at all times. They won't come from the white. White becomes this guy right here, so we should have two powers. So this go like that. So it's 30 and 85. So 30 and 85. We should have power on these two. Let's start checking them and see if we do have our proper voltage. And I forgot my test light. Here we have our test light. You can see that lights up. Let's see if this guy lights. Okay, that guy doesn't light up. We don't have power from this one, which that should be our 